Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. I think a lot of people needed a break from that heat and humidity. We certainly got it today and it'll be around tomorrow as well. Live Doppler radar. We are dry. Look at the high temperatures from earlier in the day. Low to mid 70s across the area. 75 the high in Providence. 76 in New Bedford. Typically we'd be in the lower 80s this time of year. Threat tracker for tonight and right through Monday. Low chance for anything uh, severe, but something that we are watching is the uh, high surf advisory for the Cape and Islands and that also includes Block Island expecting a high surf as a result of Kyle well off out into the Atlantic, but it turned up the ocean enough that we're going to be seeing some decent waves even on the mainland tomorrow. Here's Newport and we've got lots of clouds out there. We can see the bridge pretty clearly. No rain, no fog. Temperatures upper 60s. Wind still from the northeast eight miles an hour. Rule of thumb, you get a northeasterly wind. Typically you're going to have some pretty cool weather and that's what we had today and that's what we're going to have tomorrow as well. 69 and Taunton 68, New Bedford, Newport 68, westerly in the upper 60s at the moment. Temperatures probably falling, maybe just a few more degrees overnight. Lots of rain off to our south and west. Now, some of this will work its way into our area tomorrow, likely during the uh, late afternoon and into the evening hours, but can't rule out a few showers before then. It's associated with this area of low pressure that's going to be scooting out to sea. Speaking of out to sea, that's Kyle working its way out of here. It's still a tropical storm. We'll be working its way away from the United States over the next couple of days. So hour by hour forecast shows this northeasterly wind persisting through the daytime tomorrow. Notice a couple of raindrops late night into early on Sunday, starting off your Sunday with lots of clouds, a little bit of sun. Notice how the showers become a little bit more widespread as we go into the afternoon hours and that will continue into tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. It looks like the heavy stuff stays offshore. It'd be nice to get some of that into our area, but that does not look like the case. Probably just a light rain for tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Probably not raining all the time either. Sunday morning looks like this. It looks mainly dry, but again, a shower or two. Temperature 60s getting into the mid 70s. Let's pinpoint the afternoon for you on the coastline. Low to mid 70s with showers possible, especially during the afternoon into the evening. Northern Rhode Island, a few showers up here. Probably not as widespread. 72 in situate. Johnston 74. Providence 74 southeastern mass lower 70s in Fall River and New Bedford with the best chance of showers probably south of Fall River in the afternoon and evening out on the beaches uh, early on lots of clouds a little bit of sun mainly dry but some showers are likely during the afternoon. Here's that seven day forecast. Now on Monday, we start the day with some rain showers. We'll end up with uh, some breaks of sun, mid 70s. You want that heat and humidity to come back? Well, at least the heat starts to come back Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. Humidity begins to creep up later in the week. Don't forget, you can always get the updated forecast anytime at WPRI.com. TJ, thanks. Coming up next in 